bringing the arts to Whitewater for everyone to enjoy. That is the goal of the Whitewater Arts Alliance. Through partnerships with artists and art enthusiasts, and with business people and educators, the Whitewater Arts Alliance continues to bring the arts to life in Whitewater. Organized, led, and run entirely by volunteers, the Whitewater Arts Alliance received its first donation in December of 2004. Since that time, the Alliance has spearheaded many projects to bring the arts to life in Whitewater. Like the creation of the Prairie Tiller mural in downtown Whitewater. The art of Whitewater resident and nationally known mural artist Carol Yasko is featured on this refurbished mural. The mural depicts the various components of Whitewater and brightens the downtown area with its historical art. Check out the engraved stone next to the mural for the complete story. Other partnerships have included an opportunity to showcase art at local businesses. A current partnership with the Sweet Spot Coffee Shop has created a charming and delicious venue for art lovers as they peruse the art of local artists in the Sweet Shop Gallery. The Alliance also organized and sponsored the development of an arch at Cravath Lake that depicts the historical scenes and structures of Whitewater. Artist Brady Luke designed and fabricated the historic elements. Constructed from steel by the Shrine Group, this magnificent structure welcomes visitors to the park and showcases the many facets of Whitewater. The Whitewater Arts Alliance also helped to find a permanent home for the historic replica of the house currently known as Victoria on Main Bed and Breakfast. The doll house, built by John Overman, was donated by Leah and Ray Britson and is now housed in the Main Street shops. And the Whitewater Arts Alliance soon found a new home as well. With the grand opening of the Cultural Arts Center in the renovated White Memorial Building on 402 West Main Street, the Alliance created a location to host a variety of exhibits and events to bring the arts to life in Whitewater. The building was the original public library for many years from 1904 to 1989. Through a partnership with the City of Whitewater and with the help of generous donations from the community, the building was renovated in 2007 to help meet the needs of area artists and art enthusiasts. Even the bathroom was given an artistic flair. The mural was designed by Carol Yasko and painted by Carol and Mary Nelson. Since the renovations, the Cultural Art Center has hosted painting exhibits, sculpture shows, theater performances, storytelling, folk art exhibits, book signings, jewelry classes, painting demonstrations, meetings with Jefferson County art leaders, and more. The first exhibit at the Cultural Arts Center featured PhotoSpeak, an online photo group led by local businessman and photographer Dave Salsa. The first show of Whitewater Arts Alliance members featured 25 artists. Since then, members of the Whitewater Arts Alliance who make art hold their own show at the Cultural Arts Center every year. Also, a book signing event featured the book that Dawn Hunter wrote for her son Andy. She called it Andy's Moon. The Miracles of the Spirit exhibit brought more than 750 people from California to the east coast of the United States, including many 
from across Wisconsin. This unique show featured folk art by Outsider Arts. Notable storyteller Jim Winship provided an evening of storytelling in conjunction with the exhibit. The folk art project was supported in part by a grant from the Wisconsin Arts Board with funds from the State of Wisconsin and the National Endowment for the Arts. The grant was matched by several sources, including a grant from the Whitewater Tourism Council, a generous gift from the Coburn Company, and other donations. Performance art continues to be offered at the Cultural Arts Center as well. The Royal Oak Productions' performance of Nightfall with Edgar Allan Poe brought mystery and terror to the Cultural Arts Center stage. And the Women of Metal exhibit and jewelry demonstration brought a new medium to the Cultural Arts Center. At the opening ceremony, students from the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater dance program gave a short performance incorporating wireworks made by Whitewater High School students into interpretive dance. Shelby Keat entranced viewers at the Cultural Arts Center as she painted a Whitewater scene inspired by music in less than 30 minutes. In addition to established artists, children have long been an important part of the arts in Whitewater. Preschool children and high school youth alike have showcased their talents with exhibits at the Cultural Arts Center. New and non-professional artists have been welcomed as well. The Wisconsin Regional Art Program, RAP exhibit and workshop continues to provide an outlet for amateur artists interested in exhibiting their work. Each year, the Cultural Arts Center hosts this exhibit and provides Wisconsin budding artists an opportunity to showcase their talents. In 2010, the Alliance held its first annual Fran Aiken Photograph Exhibit. Anyone from age 1 to 100 was invited to share their photographs. With nearly 200 entries, this promises to be an annual event that honors the late Fran Aiken and his historic photography. Budding artists like University of Wisconsin Whitewater graduates William Thomas, Eric Knudsen, and Jeremy Uglow had an opportunity to showcase their talents as well in 2010. The Whitewater Arts Alliance continues to partner with the university to bring the arts to Whitewater. For example, an art and cultural exchange between the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater and a university in Oaxaca, Mexico, brought in a print exhibit to the Cultural Arts Center. Latin music took center stage when singer Felipe Rodriguez performed traditional folk music at the Cultural Arts Center in conjunction with the university's Big Read events. Professors and graduates from the university have been very generous in sharing their time and talent. For example, UWW professor Chris Hennig shared his view of a famous tapestry, and the University of Wisconsin Whitewater theater graduate and actor Marty Goebel inspired actors and those who enjoy theater alike with the journey of an actor from auditions to rehearsals and performances. University of Wisconsin Whitewater students have been very involved in shows at the Cultural Arts Center. The UW Whitewater Theater Dance Department collaborated with the Whitewater Arts Alliance to present a staged reading of love letters at the Cultural Arts Center featuring Skip and Karna Grover. Clearly, the Whitewater Arts Alliance's partnership with the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater continues to flourish. Also flourishing was the Art of the Flower exhibit that was held in conjunction with the Whitewater Federation of Women's Clubs Garden Walk. 
Art lovers and food lovers alike were able to sample delectable treats while viewing the eclectic art of cooking show. Designed to delight the eyes and the palate, this show brought rave reviews. The Cultural Arts Center is one of many public venues for the Alliance. Each summer, the downtown Whitewater light poles become art attractions in themselves. The first public art project, sponsored by the Whitewater Arts Alliance, took place in 2005 when 48 fish were created by artists, displayed along Main Street, and sold to benefit the Alliance. In 2006, artists painted 56 chairs for display. In 2007, birdhouses were created, displayed, and auctioned. In 2008, butterflies perched on the light poles in downtown Whitewater. Some even joined the Christmas parade. Bicycles were featured in 2009 to bring attention to the many bike trails and fitness options available in our community. And thinking outside the box was the 2010 theme. Artists, young and old, continue to wow our community with their creative, unique perspectives. Each year, the Cultural Arts Center auctions the items created by local artists to raise funds for programming. And volunteers are essential to each project from start to finish. Anyone interested in helping to bring art to Whitewater, set up the public art projects, spend time as docents at the Cultural Arts Center, or help foster the arts in other ways, can contact the Alliance by calling 262-472-0204. For more information on the Whitewater Arts Alliance, please check out their website at www.whitewaterarts.org. You too can help bring the arts to life in Whitewater.